in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this star shaped gouache cloth and I think it looks just adorable and I did it using peaches and cream 100% cotton and I did the center of the star with white and I did the trim with the red peaches and cream and I also made this little loop so that you can hang it in your shower and I thought that was just perfect and just to give you an idea of the size of the washcloth it measures from point to point here seven inches so things that you'll need to make the um, star washcloth is a crochet hook we're going to use a size 7 or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook if you look at the label on the peaches and cream yarn it does recommend that you use a US 7 or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook so that's the one I did use to create the washcloth and it worked and it worked out just perfectly so also you'll need um, some scissors to cut the yarn when you're done and ready to fasten off and of course you'll also need a darning needle to sew in any loose ends at the end when we're finished okay so let's go ahead and begin so this time I'm going to make a white washcloth with blue trim. So I'm going to use white peaches and cream for the center, the star itself, and for the outline and the loop, I'm going to use blue this time. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the label so that we can begin the um, star shaped washcloth here. So you want to start off with a magic ring. So to do your magic ring, you just go ahead and cross it over on the front here like that. And then you take your crochet hook with the hook pointing downward towards your two fingers here. Slip it underneath this first part of the yarn. Grab the yarn in front of it. Pull it underneath. And then you have it underneath. See how I have it like that? Right, or right underneath that strand. You're just going to do a twist and bring it right over on top of it. And then you're going to move your crochet hook under this strand right here, grab it and pull it through that loop. And there is your magic ring. Okay, so to begin for round one, we're going to start off with a chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to work 15, we want 15 double crochets. This first one does count as our first double crochet, so we need to create 14 more for a total of 15. Two, three, four, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so there's fifteen double crochets. It's actually 14 double crochets in that chain 3 that counts as a first stitch, so that's your 15 stitches. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull this to close up our magic circle. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top chain right here, that third chain. Just join with a slip stitch. Okay, so now you have your circle. So now for round 2, we're going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. So to begin, we're going to chain three. It's one, two, three. That is going to count as our first double crochet. And remember, I want to do two double crochets in every stitch, so I'm going to count that as my first one, and then do a double crochet right back into that same stitch. So there's my two in that one. And then the next one, do two 
double crochets. So we're doing two double crochets into every single stitch. So it's the same thing all the way around. So we're almost done. I'm a little bit more than halfway around and I'm just working two. Let me do that one again because it kind of got tangled there. Yep. So I'm just going to work all the way around and, and I'm going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. And when you're done with this round, you will have 30 double crochets. And remember to count that first chain three as a double crochet. done. Now let's go ahead and count our stitches and make sure that we do in fact have 30 stitches. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Perfect. So now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to that top chain. And there, that completes round two. Okay, so now for round three, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to do that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So essentially, that's the first stitch will have one double crochet. Now into the next stitch you are going to do two double crochets and then the next stitch we will do one double crochet and then do two double crochets into the next one. So as you can see we're going to be doing this whole pattern all the way around. Basically we're going to do two here, and then we're going to do one, then two, then one, then two, and we're going to do that all the way around. So we just did two double crochets into that one, so as you can guess, this next one will have one double crochet. Next one will have two double crochets. And then of course the next one will have one. So we're going to do that all the way around. One, I mean two double crochets into that one. Okay, so this is going to have two double crochets. Next one will just have one double crochet. And two. Then one. So you can see we're just alternating. One, we're starting off with the chain three. And then two double crochets into the next stitch, then one, then two double crochets into that one, one double crochet. So alternating the same pattern all the way around. So that one had one, so the next one we want two double crochets.
Okay, and this last one will have two double crochets. Okay, so when we're done with this round, which is the third round, we should have 45 stitches. Let me go ahead and count my stitches. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-three, thirty-three, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. Because that chain three does count as a stitch. So perfect. That's what we want to have. So let's go ahead and join with the slip stitch to that top chain there. All right, so that finishes the third round, which is right here. Just, so now we're ready to begin the round where we create the points of the star. So to do that, you're going to chain one, and we're going to do a single crochet into that space right there. And then the next, and then the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet we're going to do a double crochet and then into the next stitch that we're going to work two stitches we're going to do a double crochet and a treble crochet into the same stitch and then you're going to chain two one two and then into the next stitch we're going to do a treble crochet and a double crochet. So this one has two stitches as well. Okay, and then this stitch here, we're gonna do a double crochet. And then the next stitch will have a half double crochet. Next stitch, do a single crochet. And then this next stitch, do a slip stitch right into there. So you can see we have one point of the star done. So now the same thing for the next point. So go ahead and do a single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next one. Next stitch we'll have one double crochet. Now into the next stitch we're going to work two stitches and that will be a double crochet and a treble crochet where you wrap the yarn twice before you insert it into the stitch. And then you're going to chain two And then we're going to do two stitches into the next stitch. So we're going to do a treble crochet into that next stitch. And we're also going to do one double crochet into that same stitch. So the next stitch will have one double crochet. Into the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. And then the next stitch will have a single crochet. And then right into this next one, we're going to work a slip stitch. So there's the second point of our star. Okay, so now we're going to do, in the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And then in this stitch here, the next one, a half double crochet. Next stitch, we will work one double crochet. And then this next one, we're going to have to two stitches on it. So we're going to start off with a double crochet. And a treble crochet. And then you want to do chain two. And then the next stitch will have a treble crochet. So this stitch is going to have two stitches as well. So we start off with the treble crochet or triple crochet. Sometimes you'll hear it called a triple crochet as well. And one double crochet into that same stitch. And then the next stitch will have one double crochet. And then the next one will have a half double crochet. And then the next stitch, do one single crochet, and then the next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. 
So there's the third point of our star shape now. So looking really cute. All right. So into the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, we'll have a half double crochet. Next one, one double crochet. And then the next stitch will have two stitches. It will have one double crochet and one treble crochet. So you want to wrap the yarn two times, insert it into that same stitch. Okay, and then chain two. And then the next stitch is going to have two stitches. It's going to have one treble or triple crochet and one double crochet into that same stitch. So in the next stitch we'll have one double crochet. And then one half double crochet into this next one. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. And then right here, the next stitch, do a slip stitch. So all the points will work the same way. So we have one more to work, so it'll be done the same way. So we just did the slip stitch, so now to begin this next point, we're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is going to have a half double crochet. Okay, and the next stitch, one double crochet. And then this next stitch will have two stitches. It will have one double crochet and one treble crochet. And then you want to chain two. And then we're going to move into the next stitch here and we're going to do one treble crochet. And one double crochet into that same stitch. So that stitch also had two stitches. Next stitch we'll have one double crochet. And then this stitch you're going to do a half double crochet. And the next stitch will have a single crochet. And then right in here you just do a slip stitch. And we are now ready to fasten off with the white because okay, because now we're done with the white part and yarn. So let's go ahead and cut a little tail here. And then just do a yarn over, pull that through that loop. Just give it a little tug there to tighten it down and fasten off. So as you can see, we have the five points of our star. This washcloth I did with the red trim, so I thought it would be cute if I did this one with the blue peaches and cream cotton yarn. So go ahead with the blue yarn or the color of your choice. Um, make a little slip knot. And then go ahead and insert the hook through that chain two space that's at the point of the star. That's where we did the double crochet and treble crochet into the same stitch and then we did the chain two so right there and start your hook right into that point there right into that chain two space and then do a yarn over pull that through and then pull that through that slip knot to attach the yarn for the loop I did 16 chain stitches and that's the perfect size to just hook it on a little hook in the shower or on a shower caddy if there's a hook on that um, if you want to loop this over the faucet of the bathtub, and you may need to make the loop a little bit bigger. But for this one, I did do 16. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do 16 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. All right. And then I'm going to do a single crochet right back into that chain two space. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Okay, so there is our loop there. And now what you want to do is next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. And then next one a half double crochet. And then a half double crochet into the top of that double crochet there. And then this is where that half double crochet is. We're going to do a half double crochet into that one. And here's where the single crochet is in the white. So you're going to do a 
half double crochet. Now here is where we did like the slip stitch. So the next two stitches will have a single crochet. Next one will have a single crochet. And then this stitch here, that's the half double crochet again. You're going to do a half double crochet into that one. And then a half double crochet. Keep doing half double crochets all the way up this point here. Okay, so now we're into where the center of this point is, where we have that chain two space. So what you want to do is you're going to do a half double crochet, chain two, and then a half double crochet right back into that same space. And then a half double crochet right back into that same space. Okay, so now this next one, we're going to do a half double crochet, half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next one, half double crochet here, half double crochet into the next one, and then the next two we're going to do a single crochet. That's where the slip stitch was. And this next one you're going to do a single crochet. That's where that single crochet was from the previous round. And the reason why you want to do that is if you did half double crochets here, um, basically what would happen is it would kind of make it too straight and you'd lose the star shape, the points, and it wouldn't look like a point anymore. It would kind of look more straight across. So that's why you want to definitely do the single crochets when you get to that point where you did the slip stitch. So working our way back up, we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch until we get to that chain two space. And then in the chain two space do a half double crochet, chain two, and then half double crochet right back into that same chain two space. Okay, so the next one, the next stitch, working our way down the star. This is where that treble crochet was, or triple crochet. Do a half double crochet there. Half double crochet into the double crochet. That's the next double crochet. We're also doing a half double crochet in there. This is where that half double crochet is, so you're going to do a half double crochet there as well. Okay. And then, here's where this single crochet is, so you're going to do half double crochet there and here's where that slip stitch was so now you want to do a s single crochet and then here's where we began moving up the peak of this star and this was a half double crochet here um, this was a single crochet so we're actually going to do a single crochet into that one and then half double crochet in the next one half double crochet working all the way back up here until we get to that center so do one half double crochet in each one all right now we're back to where that chain two space is so do a half double crochet into the chain two space and then chain two and then a half double crochet right back into that chain two space okay then the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet half double crochet in the next one so as you can see here, that was the chain two space. So we did a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. So then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. So just remember that you should have five half double crochets to where we get to that slip stitch plus that one. So technically, if you want to count that, that would be six. Okay, so we're doing half double crochets. Okay, so you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. In that one, there's six. So you should have six, after that um, chain two right here, you should have six half double crochets here. Okay, and then 
that's where that slip stitch is. So that's how you can tell when you get into the slip stitch. When you're coming down, the peak, you know, here's the peak if you're coming down here, going downhill basically in crochet. Um, at this point, you will have six half double crochets. That's when you know you're at the slip stitch, okay? So then do a single crochet into that one. And then the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to work our way back up. But see, that's the difference. When you're working downward, you'll have six half double crochets. When you're working back up, you're going to have one, two, three, four. So that's the difference. Just remember, when you're working down, you should have six half double crochets after that chain two. Then you do the single crochet into that slip stitch there. Single crochet into the next one, which is technically the single crochet working our way back up. So this is where you'll have five working up the peaks and six working downward. So if that makes sense. Okay, so then there's the single crochet, and then the next st stitches will have five. So the next four, okay, so the next four stitches, you're going to do a half double crochet into each. Okay, so that was the next four stitches where we did a half double crochet. And now we're back to the chain two space at the peak of the star here at the point. So now you're going to do a half double crochet into that chain two space, and then chain two, and do a half double, and then do a half double crochet right back into that same chain two space. So you can see here where we have the two single crochets, and then we have five half double crochets, and then the chain two. Now we're working back down, so at this point we're going to have six half double crochets. Okay, so we're going to do one. Two, three, four, five. So we just did a half double crochet in the next five stitches, and if you count that one here in that chain two space, you should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So now you know that the next two stitches will have a single crochet and not a half double crochet. So do a single crochet here, next stitch, a single crochet. And we're working our way back up, so we know the next four stitches will have a half double crochet. Alright, so now we are at this point where we have our little loop. So what I did here, um, you can leave it like that if you like to, but I thought it looked a little bit better because it was... This kind of looked thin, and if you look at the trim, I just thought this looked a little bit more even with the, you know, width of it, so, or the thickness of the loop. So I went ahead, and what I did is, in this first chain, I started my hook, and I did a slip stitch. And then in each chain, I did a slip stitch. So just do a slip stitch in every single chain. Okay, so I'm just working one slip stitch into every single chain. I'm not even doing a single crochet, just doing a slip stitch. So I'm going to insert the hook into the chain. Yarn over, pull that through, and then slip it right through that loop. One more chain here. Alright, perfect. So now I'm going to cut my yarn to fasten off. Okay, so now I'm going to pull that through that loop. Alright, so now we want to go ahead and weave our ends in. And as you can see, there's a little bit of space, and I'll show you what you want to do with that. So, here's the two tails, and I'm going to use that to bring that space together a little bit better. 
So go ahead and um, take one of the strands of the blue. Okay, I'm going to insert it through my crochet needle if it will let me. Okay, so I'm going to insert it through my crochet needle and I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the front here. Okay, so here's where that little stitch was, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring it through there and then back through this one to kind of bring them closer together. See how I did that? And then behind this strand here, and I'm going to bring it to the back now. And that way we can tie these two ones, these two together and give it a knot or two. Alright, so then we can weave those in. So now I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to weave in my other blue tail. And you can weave it along the edge here or even weave it through the loop if you want. So I just have, now here's that magic circle. You can just go ahead and pull that to close up that center circle as small as you can. That looks pretty good to me. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to weave that in. Just weave it under some of those stitches there. One more tail to weave in. Okay, so we have completed our star shaped washcloth with a little loop. To hang it up and I think it looks just adorable so I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today if you did please give me a thumbs up and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a great day